I was very fortunate. Boston University had something called the League Auditions. And the seniors of each class would come down in the spring and do a league audition. And this is Yale, um, Juilliard, uh, Carnegie Mellon, the best uh, conservatory training programs in the country. And we would perform at Juilliard in front of casting directors, agents, producers, whatnot. And they were looking basically for fresh meat. They're looking for young people coming up. And I was very lucky. I, I was seen by a couple of people. I, I got an agent right out of the out of the gate, which is a huge catch-22 for many young actors starting out. So I had an agent right away. And a casting director who was casting a movie called Wired saw me. And Wired ended up being the first movie that I ever auditioned for. Now, it took three years and something like a dozen auditions, but I ended up landing that movie in, to play the role of John Belushi in the film Wired, which I thought was an incredible break and, you know, with an Academy Award winning producer and, you know, just a thrill of a lifetime. And, it was, and you know, it was a national search for someone. It's, it's just not the normal way that people come into it. I didn't know that at the time, but, you know, and I didn't, I didn't know a lot of things. I, I keep thinking about how many times things happened in my life out of just blind ignorance. And people would, like, credit me with being brave or courageous. And I'd just go, what do you, like, people said, would say to me at the time, you know, you were so brave to take on that role. And I would look at them blankly because I didn't know what the hell they were talking about. I wasn't brave at all. I, I, to me... It was a no-brainer. I was telling people the specials that night, and it was either tell people those specials or play John Belushi in a film with an Academy Award-winning producer. I didn't know anything about the controversy surrounding that picture. I had no idea. Um, I, of course, I knew who Bob Woodward was. You know, he was the guy who took down Nixon, but I didn't know the backstory of between he and the Belushis or anything. Of the friends. I didn't know uh, who Michael Ovitz was. I was completely ignorant to the, new, the LA scene, to the Hollywood scene, to any of the things that make this infrastructure work, at the, especially at that time. I was just a young actor. I was so crestfallen. I'll never forget. You know, when, I mean, briefly, and I really don't even like to talk about this period in my life because it really shook me up because when, when, when I was about two months into making that film, I discovered that, you know, everybody in his sphere w was totally horrified by the project, didn't want anything to do with it, and wanted everyone involved with it blackballed. They, they just didn't want us to see the light of day, and I was freaked out by that because imagine, all I've done my whole life is aspire to be an actor, work towards being an actor, and here are some of my favorite actors and comedic actors in my life, you know, Murray and Aykroyd and all these guys. And they hate me out of the gate. And we've, they don't know me. We've never met. I, I was devastated. Um, and on top of it, the movie ends and I can't get arrested. I can't be seen for an under five. And this happened and lasted for some six months when I went back to New York, and at the time I was being, before that I was being seen for a lot of things. And all of a sudden I do this movie, no one's seen it, and now I can't, I'm not being seen for a thing. So it was a very scary, horrible time in my life. And I really don't talk about it much because I, I, I just, you know, I knew somewhere inside me that I couldn't fight. Um, the forces were just too powerful, and all I thought was just work, just do do the work and let the work speak, and that will rise eventually.